Me and my family are in Scarborough, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And one of the number one dishes recommended since we've been here is shawarmas. So we went to a place called Sumac. I got it, let's try it, it rated one to 10. We spent $37.82. This would be considered one of the spots in the popular category, only because they have two locations and it seemed like a local favorite. This could also be considered part of the different backgrounds of different cultures categories. My family said the customer service was pretty good. It was really busy, so they were just getting people in and out. I'm gonna show you everything I got and we are gonna try it and rate it one to 10. A veal shawarma, a chicken shawarma, and a mixed shawarma. This is chicken and veal mixed together. I asked for everything on it. She said what everything was, but it was a language barrier. So I understood it, but I didn't understand everything she said. I think she said hummus, chicken, pickled onions. Radishes. Radishes. This is my hand for scale, so it was real long. Let's see. That's good. That's real good, actually. In Detroit, we call these pitas, like euros. Yeah. That chicken got a lot of flavor, like spices. Boy, it's in my nose. It's not even spicy. It's just like a spice cabinet full of flavor. I might be wrong, but I take some cumin, a little bit of coriander, maybe. It's just a lot of spices. It's very flavorful. It's juicy. That sauce is a little spicy. It's a garlic spread. It's a garlic spread. Mm -hmm. It got a little bit of kick to it. It's not super spicy, though. This is a spicy sauce, though. It's like that kind of sauce you gotta be careful with. It's weird. It feel like it wanna be super spicy, but it's not. It's only spicy in a part that it touched my tongue, if that makes sense. But spice level, I get this sauce like a maybe a five out of 10, maybe six, but this flavor and overall taste, in my opinion, this is an 8.2 out of 10. Hi. Mm -hmm. This is the veal. Veal is just like a baby cow, right? Yeah. Whatever you call it. Call me when you make it. <laughs> I don't care what you call it. It tastes like beef, but like a very juicy and seasoned beef. It's supposed to be more tender. That it is. It's very tender. This is up there with the chicken. 8.4 out of 10. Last but not least, just the mix. <clears throat> mm. This one got the least amount of meat. I got all bread at a time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Surprisingly, I like them separate. I don't like the mix of proteins. I don't know if it's just the proteins that don't mix well to me or it's just the overload. It's still good, it's just not for me. It's right in the middle, five out of 10. Overall, for this to be the first spot in Toronto, I'm happy. Scarborough got a bunch of spots. It's almost overload in my opinion. It's spots everywhere. I know this is only our first spot, but if you ask me, I feel like this is gonna be one of our most interesting food tours yet, by far. It's all kind of cultures and backgrounds and different ethnicities and different foods I've never tried before. I feel like it's gonna be a first time for a lot of things and I'm excited. And as always, I pray and hope that they continue to reach their target audience. Inside this bag is brunch that has an Asian fusion twist. It's here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, but they also got a new location in Markham. To all my fellow people who live in Scarborough, you do not need to travel all the way downtown in order to have a good brunch. This place is called Sisters & Co. And they're serving up amazing brunch. I and this is on DoorDash. And I hear this is some of the best brunch in Toronto. Let's see if I agree. I got it. Let's try it. And rate it 1 through 10. We spent $74.07. Because my service, I couldn't really tell much because we ordered it on DoorDash. But it was quick. It only took like 10 minutes. I'm going to show you everything I got. And we're going to try it. And rate it 1 through 10. Earl Grey pancakes, citrus mascarpone waffles, and a bare naked Benny, which is an eggs Benedict that you can customize. I added bacon. It said customize, but they didn't give me much options, so I just added bacon. And to wash it down, a Vietnamese coffee. I usually don't drink coffee, but we've been waking up early. I've been tired. I'm gonna start with the eggs Benedict. I asked for three strips of bacon on the side. I got three strips that's like this. It's a thin slice, but it's just curled up. I should've got nine slices. <laughs> when they say bare, they mean bare. It's literally just toast, eggs, and then I added bacon. But a hollandaise sauce on the side. It's simple. It's real simple. The ingredients are really high quality in my opinion. But I do like this. I wish there was more options you could add, but I'm not mad at this. For me, this is a 7.7 out of 10. In my day-to-day -day life, I'm an eggs Benedict connoisseur. That's all I eat for real. Like, that's my only breakfast choice. It's the waffles. It's like a build-your-own kind of thing. Citrus mascarpone. A little bit of that. Little blueberry compote. Same thing. I don't need no food. Deep. Berry compo is super fruity and fresh. This mascarpone is exactly what they say it is. It's like a lemony, zesty. It's not super sweet. I think that's why I'm enjoying the Canadian food is because everything is like 
just enough sweet. It's just a waffle at the end of the day, but the attention to detail is making this really hot for me. Nine out of 10. Again, it's just a waffle, but man, it's just a good waffle. Boy, I'm about to sit here. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least is the Earl Grey pancakes. Earl Grey topping. Earl Grey is like a tea, right? Yeah. Strawberry puree. I don't know a strawberry. These are some of the densest pancakes. The Earl Grey don't taste like that. The pancake is delicious, but it's very mild. Super mild. I don't taste anything. These are strawberry pancakes. They're really good strawberry pancakes. It's mild. I taste it. You taste it? It's because I know what Earl Grey tastes like. Yeah, I don't taste nothing. It's an aftertaste more so. With that being said, those are still really good pancakes. 8.7 out of 10. To wash everything down, it's the Vietnamese coffee. Now, I've never had Vietnamese coffee before, and I'm not really a coffee lover, so let's see. When I drink coffee, this is how I drink it. It's strong, real strong. When I do drink it, I drink black coffee. Mm. It don't look black, but it tastes black. <laughs> this is real strong. I like this. 7.5 out of 10. I think this is a great brunch option to not only be on DoorDash, but to be in Markham and to be in downtown Toronto. I'm liking Toronto so far, if you can't tell. God bless you having a man. The food in this bag is Bohemian food. It's food from the Bahamas, and it's my first time ever trying it. I got it, let's try it, and rate it one through 10. We spent $80. This food is from a place called Old NASA here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We came specifically because I saw this video. Hi, Keith Lee, this is Kay, and this is my daughter, Kenzie, and we're inviting you to come to our restaurant, Old NASA. We are on Weston Road, 2047 Weston Road. We are in a small community. Our food is amazing, very underrated. We just think you should come and try some Bahamian food. My family said the customer service was really good. They said the ladies at the front was very patient and they explained the menu to them. While I was waiting out here, it's some girls who came out with full bags and I could tell they got food from there. So I asked them, is this place good? They said they drive an hour and a half from Niagara Falls just to get here and they from the Bahamas. I mean, if that ain't testimony, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna show you everything I got and we are gonna try it and we're doing through 10. Banana pancakes, cracked chicken with everything on it, steamed pork chop with peas and rice, and last but not least, fried snapper. We're gonna start with the red snapper. This look crazy. They fried this whole thing. I love fried, whole fried fish though. It's big too cool. Big too cool. Big too cool. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I'm trying to get away. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know a fish is tender. I couldn't even hold it. Let's see. I'm about to just go straight into his side. Oh, bounce. Mm, a lot of bones, but ah. That is seasoned to perfection, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. It's like herbs and lemon. Boy. It's not salty at all. You can't see that no better if you ask me. For sure, you're right on. <laughs> Absolutely. So what she said was the island mm. special with how they usually eat it culturally is mm. with the pancakes versus rice and peas. All right, listen. Just take a pancake, fish on top of the pancake. This pancake is savory, it's thick, it's dense. Oh, so that's probably oh, why it goes well with the fish. It's buttery. We high <laughs> up here, like this is a guava. That's the guava, the guava is good. It's like a, almost like a butter. A guava butter that came with it. This is what I said earlier about me trying a bunch of unique food I've never tried before since I've been to Toronto. I ain't never had nothing like this. My um, way. It don't taste like nothing I've ever had before. I wait two hours for this. 9.6 out of 10. From the fish to the pancake to the butter to the rice. Fantastic. Some mac and cheese. This is a different kind of noodle. It's a long noodle. Mm -mm. That's not for me. This is more of a macaroni pie. I like mac and cheese. I like my mac and cheese to be creamy. But I can see how people like that. That's just not for me. Three out of 10. Just the cracked chicken. As you can see, I took a bite out of bread because I got a bone from the fish stuck in my throat. So I was trying to use the bread to push it down. <clears throat> Just a cracked chicken. I have no idea what this is. I think it's just fried chicken with like a bunch of different sauces and some mayo, ketchup, and onions. And onions, okay. I'm about to say I see onions. If they ain't gonna do nothing else, they're gonna season something. Come on top of french fries. That's good it's called. Ooh, it's like sour and acidic. This chicken is crispy. The mayo and the ketchup don't do much for me. The only downside to me is that it's pretty inconsistent. Like some of it is just all bread and it's just like fried bread, and then some of it. Are like little chicken pieces. We thought this was a chicken strip. This is a whole chicken wing. Now, if I would have just bitten this thinking it was a chicken strip, I would have broke my tooth. It is seasoned well, but in my opinion, this is a seven out of ten. This is a pork chop. Mm. 
Now, I'm personally not a huge fan of pork. The only pork I really eat is bacon and pepperonis, but this is pretty good in my opinion. It's seasoned well, it's steamed. I've never had steamed pork chop before. I thought it was fried. I thought it was a crust on here, but apparently it's the gravy. With that being said, this is a 7.9 out of 10. It's a tamarind switcher. You can see I'd already dipped into it. It's almost like a lemonade. I would've thought it was like some kind of lemonade if you didn't tell me what it was. Overall, if this place not out the dough, I don't know why. I couldn't tell you the reason. But in my opinion, this should be out the dough. This is the best food we had since we've been here. And I'm just appreciative that they invited us. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. The food was absolutely am amazing. Oh my yeah, God. yeah, the food was absolutely amazing. I appreciate y'all inviting me. I'm saying, what you just oh, oh. There's no promises. It might get a little crazy there. We're ready. Sometimes the weight gets a little bit hectic because we make everything fresh from scratch. So. I believe it. Yeah, yeah, we do our best. And as always, I pray and hope after this, they reach their target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. I want to go to the Bahamas now. Me and my family were driving around Scarborough, Toronto, Ontario when we got this email. You can pause to read if you would like to. I got it. Let's try it. It rated one to ten. We spent fifty-two dollars and ninety cents. The custom service, my family said, was extremely interesting. The lady who took the order said herself that she was hungover. She said she was hungover and she was kind of messing up on the order. And the reason she was messing up on the order, because she said herself, she was hungover. So it is what it is. I'm gonna show you everything I got and we're gonna try it. It rated one to ten. A barbecue jerk chicken sandwich, a curry goat roti, a oxtail rice and peas plate, and last but not least, a side of mac salad. This is a jerk chicken sandwich with coleslaw. I like coleslaw, so I got high hopes for this. It's a sandwich with chicken, bread, and coleslaw. It's good. I know some people like their jerk chicken dry, and this is like a drier jerk chicken. Try with the gravy. Kind of gravy. Chicken gravy? Yeah. They gave it a little more flavor, but it's still a sandwich. The bread is really soft. I think that's the highlight. But for me, 6.5 out of 10. It's a curry goat roti. Now, I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat this like a burrito, but that's how I'm about to do it. Excuse me if I'm doing this wrong. It is hot. I can't even pick it up. It's gonna bust out the Ready bottom. The Look at that, it done bust out the bottom. <laughs> there it goes eating it like a burrito. His bones in here. Oh, I couldn't eat it like a burrito if I wanted to. I would've broke a tooth. It's very strong. It's a little gamey because of the goat. The flavors are there though. It's a lot of spices. This is my first time having curry goat. I can see this being an acquired taste. It's good, but it's not like over the top for me. I can see how people live and die by it. We try with all of the protein and stuff. It must not be too bad, it's your third bite. <laughs> I think what it is because it's such a like a different taste for me like yeah. i've never tasted anything You're that tastes like this yeah no i really like trying new things and this is very new for me it's not spicy it's very earthy the meat is very tender almost too tender it's like meat butter i ain't even gotta chew it i like this this is very new for me but i like it 7.5 out of 10 higher than i thought i would get yeah. that's a lot of food too that's a lot but at the same time if you like curry goat and you use the spices and flavors like that i could easily see that being like a nine and a half nine somewhere in that range it's the ox too let's see these are the smallest oxen I've ever seen. It's like they chopped them up or cut them in half. Yeah, it's a little oxtail. Not oxtail. It's meaty though. Mm. That one's real fatty. Let's see if I get one with meat on it. Let's see. There it come. I got a really good amount of gravy, I will say that. This is the rice with the oxtail gravy. Almost everywhere. I really like that model gravy and I like how the rice is cooked, but it's not my favorite plate of oxtail because it is really fatty and I wish I had more spice. This is a little above average for me, 6.5 out of 10. Overall, I appreciate the invite and I thank you for having me. If they haven't already, after this, I pray and I hope they reach their target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Cakes in this box came from somebody's backyard here in Scarborough, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. This is the most Canadian thing I've ever done. I got it. Let's try it. It rated 1 to 10. We spent $36.16. 99% of the time, I always decline backyard, in house, or like plates because I don't want nobody's house getting super busy there's no guarantee that's gonna get busy but there's a possibility but this is completely different this is the video i saw that helped me discover this place here is a hidden gem that you can find in someone's backyard google maps will bring you to this residential street you'll know you're in the right place when you see these signs so if you keep walking all the way down the driveway you'll come across this shed what you'll find inside is biscuits to baskets and backyard brew espresso bar the shelves were stacked with snacks and chocolates they have baked goods that pair well with their coffee and the prices are really affordable. My family said the customer service was over the top. Some of the best customer service they've ever experienced. They had a full conversation. He got a full setup. From the inside, you wouldn't be able to tell you was in somebody's garage. But you went somebody's garage. I'm sure everything I got and we're going to try it at rate of 1 to 10.
Now, all of the stuff that we got is normally out of my wheelhouse. When I say out of my wheelhouse, I don't really drink coffee, lattes, or really eat sweets like that, but that's how we got. This is a Korean sponge toffee latte. He got a sign in his front yard to try this, so he's about to try it. He also mentioned that his daughter makes all of the Korean toffee sponge and it's gluten free. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> That's unique. Take the top off. So I don't even know how to describe it. It's real good. It don't really taste like a latte to me, though. Ooh, that's real honey. Yeah, mm. oat milk. Oh, and oat milk. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Mm. This is really high for me. Eight out of ten. That's extremely high. Again, as somebody who don't drink latte or don't drink coffee. Again, I'm not much of a sweet person, but my wife is, so she's gonna try all the cakes. This is the carrot with the cream cheese. That's really good. It is not that sweet. No. Well. <laughs> it's sweet. That's sweet to you? Yeah, it's the icing. Okay, go ahead. Ready at the same time. One, two, three, seven. eight. Oh, you're close. Yeah, I give it a seven out of ten. Okay. This is the banana one. That's a banana. You like that one? Yeah, it tastes like like a banana loaf. Way yeah. more than a cake. It's good. One, two, three, seven. Seven point two out of ten. It's a little bit better than the other one for me because it's not as sweet. A lot of banana flavor though, like real bananas. And with chocolate. I know that's gonna be sweet. Yeah, I can tell. But I like that all the cakes are moist. I would give it a 7.2, a little bit higher than what I rated the banana. This is Biscoff. I love Biscoff. If you're a Biscoff fan like I am, I love that. I'm gonna give that the 8.4. Overall, I love his mission. I love what he stands for. This is super dope. Again, this is super Canadian because you in somebody backyard. They say Canadians are some of the nicest people, and I see why. How you doing, man? Hey, some friends to get some coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's actually my sister. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. So my name's Keith. We kind of just go around and try like different food spots and like different right. barbecue spots. Not only do I really appreciate what you're doing, yeah. it's absolutely amazing. Thanks. Uh, Thanks we would love to leave you a tip. Well, yeah, I, yeah. Honestly, just you guys coming here is tip enough for me, man. Honestly, yeah. What do you usually make in a day if you don't mind me asking? Um, that I honestly don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, you know, it's good for us. You know, at least paying the bills. That's it. Yeah. Can we tip you 25? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> You get Ramey over 2500 No, 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 I can't do that, man. Like, oh, now I promise there's no scam, there's no <laughs> trains attached. It just doesn't thank you. We really enjoyed your customer service. Well, really. Yeah. Coden is one of the nicest people we met as a family. I'm just thankful for the interaction. His wife reached out to me later that night and said we don't know what this meant to her family. And she don't know what it meant to ours. God bless you. And as always, the food in this bag is from a pizza place here in downtown Toronto. It's a family-owned spot who gets back to the community. And their goal is to get a bigger spot. This is a very, 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 very tiny shop. But a lot of people say some of the best pizza in the city. Even some of the most well-respected food reviewers here in the city. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 to 10. We spent $79.04. The customer service, my family said, was really good. But we in Canada. There's some of the nicest people I've met so far. I'm going to show you everything I got and we're going to try it and rate it 1 to 10. Mac and cheese. All of these got a lot of ingredients. I'm going to be reading off of phone. A David's Jr. personal pizza. Cup and charred pepperonis. House cured sausage. Pickle jalapeno. Hot honey. Afro sugo and crispy basil. This is the same thing, but with beef instead. This is the Hendrix experience. It's the chicken and waffles, fried chicken, toasted pecans, compressed watermelon with tequila, compressed watermelon with tequila, maple habanero, and fresh cilantro. Compressed watermelon with tequila. What that even mean? How you compress watermelon and put tequila in it? Did they card you? No. Oh. <laughs> and last but not least, this is Shanaz Samosa. It's Shanaz's beef samosa, tamarind and cilantro chili sauce, crispy samosa chips, fresh cilantro and chili flakes. That's a whole mouthful. It's the mac and cheese. Golly. I'm very picky with mac and cheese, but I feel like this got a lot, a lot of hope in my opinion. Mm. A little more sauce and this will be super high. It's got the most flavor I've had in a long time. I wish this cheese sauce that's in the middle was everywhere because the parts that don't have the cheese sauce is just noodle and it's kind of dry. But with the cheese sauce, it's like an 8.5 out of 10 in my opinion. I ain't getting mac and cheese that high in a minute. Maybe once when we in Dallas, but other than that, hey, this one of them. It's the pepperoni. This is some really good piece in my opinion. It's sweet, it's salty, it got hot honey on it. It got the jalapeno, that meat is fresh. The sauce is real good. This is my first time in a nines. Nine out of 10. Mm. 
You know, yeah, this the beef version. I like the other one better only because I'm a pepperoni lover. But if you can't have pepperoni due to any reasons, this is a great option. A great option in my opinion. 8.7 out of 10. This is the chicken and waffles. Now I'm not gonna lie, I say I'm not scared, because I am. A good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Is it good? It might, it might be, but I can't tell. So much going on. I can't oh, tell. It's very sweet. It's spicy. This is spicy one so far. I really taste that watermelon infused vodka. <laughs> In my opinion, I can really see that being divisive. I can see people loving it and people hating it. I'm on either side of the fence. It's like right above the middle for me. So 7.6 out of 10, 7.7, .7, somewhere like that. This is samosa. also in that same category i can also see this being divisive it's a lot of flavor it's tangy if this was fresh out the oven this would be crispy the chips on top i feel like those would be real crispy and it add a lot of texture to it but as is in my opinion i feel like this is a 7.5 out of 10 but i can see when this is fresh it's probably like an eight in my opinion i don't see what's holding this place back from reaching that goal it's not up to me but if it was up to me i'm talking about lying around a corner until they got a bigger space out the dough if you ask me that piece of crazy it's different it's unique i ain't never had nothing like that before and as always after this i pray and i hope they reach their target audience Oh, you've had the food? Absolutely. Oh, amazing. Which one you tried? Yeah. Oh. We had the uh, chicken and chicken waffles, waffles, the, the beef, yeah, and the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese. Crazy. Good stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. See, we're crazy. bringing fine dining quality food down to the common level. I can tell So you. that everyone can have it. I can tell you. Right? So that not only the rich people are having the good fancy food, everyone else should eat that too, right? We want to leave a $3,000 tip. Oh, what? A $3,000 tip. <laughs> <See. laughs> I was told and borderline threatened on multiple occasions that if I came to Toronto and didn't try Somali food, I didn't experience Toronto. So I got Somali food. I got it. Let's try it and ready one to ten. We spent ninety eight dollars and twenty nine cents. My family said the customer service was a nine out of ten. They said the lady was extremely helpful. She literally ran through the whole menu with them. And I personally have to shout out Mix and a Six because they sent me a full list of what to get from this place. I'm excited. I'm gonna show you the thing I got and we're gonna try it and ready one to ten. Goat and rice. That's not the traditional name of this dish, but the lady was nice enough to break it down in terms that we fully understand. Beef stew and chapati, T bone and pasta chicken stew again these are not the traditional names of these dishes these are just what she put on the receipt and for dessert milk cake we was also told to get bananas and rice but they didn't have any we're gonna start with the goat i've had goat before but never in this form that thing hanging that's the least gamiest goat i've ever had in my life i wouldn't know that I was goat if you didn't tell me it's seasoned real well i thought it was gonna be spicy it's not spicy at all no rice and peppers it's just really well seasoned meat with some rice. I'm not mad at this at all. It's fresh too. I'm surprised, but I'm starting really high. 8.2 out of 10. I can see this not being everybody cup of tea though. If you don't like goat, I can see you not liking this. But to me, this is a really good goat. This is a T-bone and pasta. These bones real big. Ooh. Ooh, oh, it was only one piece. I thought it was like cut up. It's tender though. This just takes that like real char, real seasoned T-bone steak. Oh, mm, good. Pasta. The pasta definitely has some kind of like tangy, a little bit sour sauce on it. I'm not mad at it, but it's extremely different for me. The T-bone, in my opinion, is 8 out of 10. The pasta, on the other hand, 5 out of 10. I'm not a huge fan. This is the beef stew. I'm going to try it with the chapati. I see carrots, peas, onions. It's the eclipse right now in Canada, and it's really loud in my background. Excuse that. What is that? Let's hurry up. I'm not sure this is how you're supposed to eat it, but I'm going to eat it like this. In my opinion, this tastes like crock pot beef stew. That's good. And this is a super flaky, buttery, like flatbread. Eight out of 10 in my opinion. This is the chicken. Now the color is super vibrant, like real vibrant. I don't know if the camera do it justice, but this is real red. It's a little spicy. It's a little tangy. I might be wrong, but it kind of tastes like it was cooked with yogurt. The spices are very different, but it's just chicken. 7.8 out of 10. And this is what I keep hearing about, this milk cake. This is way softer than I thought it was. I trust leeches. I'm literally not putting no pressure on this fork. It was like trust leeches where they put a whole bunch of milk inside the cake and then they soak it up. I'm a texture person. I might not like this. That's not for me. The flavor is delicious. This is a really, really good cake. But that texture... I'm not a fan of the texture at all. Just off of flavor, this is an 8.5 out of 10. But texture ball, for me, this is a 3.5 out of 10. I like your touches. Dang, that's really good. Is it? 
Yeah. Make this my next birthday cake. What you give it? 